functions which the GMC system is aimed to fulfill. The GMC system is designed to perform these nine functions. Number one, transmission of ship to show distress alert by two separate and independent means. The details for this function are contained on the individual ship's radio safety certificate. For example, a ship in area A1 would use VHF ESC equipment as the primary means and the equivalent as the secondary. Ships in area A4 would use HF ESC equipment as the primary means and 406 MHz equivalent as the secondary means. Number two, reception of shore to ship distress alerts. If the ship sends a distress alert by an aircraft or in mass at sea satellite terminal, any ship in the vicinity will not be aware of the distress until the shore authorities relay the distress details by sending a DSC call and or a satellite call to all ships within a defined area. Number 3. Transmission and reception of ship to ship distress alerts. A ship in distress can alert other ships in the vicinity by sending a DSC distress alert on DHF and ML and follow it up with distress voice message on channel 16 or 2182 MHz. HFDSC is reserved for long range work and is intended for alerting shore based authorities. Transmission and reception of staff coordinating communications. This is to enable ships to perform search and rescue coordination functions described in the International Aeronautical Maritime Search and Rescue Manual. It includes the use of radio dialects called narrowband direct printing or MBTP between ships involved in the search and rescue. Number 4. Transmission and reception of on scene communications. It involves the use of short to medium range communications during the course of the operation. Ships must be able to communicate with aircraft, other ships, and shore authorities using dedicated GMS frequencies for voice and NVD communications. Frequencies for RT radio telephone use are nature channel 16 and channel 6. Reach 121.5 MHz and 123.1 MHz. It is compulsory for passenger vessels. MF 2182 kHz, HF 3023 kHz, 4125 kHz, 568 kHz. Number 6. Transmission and reception of locating signals. Locating and only signals are provided for in GMSs by curves and SARS. SARS are intended for use in survival craft to provide a homing signal for ships and aircraft engaged in search and rescue operations. SARS operate in the navigation radar frequency band, X band. Number 7. Transmission and reception of maritime CFP information and SR. GMSS provides two independent systems for broadcasting and SI, namely NAVTEX and Safety Net. Navigation and meteorology warnings, meteorology forecast, and other urgent safety related messages for a given area, NAV area are broadcast over NAVTEX and Safety Net. Number 8 Transmission and Reception of General Communication to and from ship-based, shore-based radio systems. GMS provides facilities for all types of commercial and personal communications over commercial telecommunications networks. Number 9. Transmission of bridge-to-bridge communications. SOLAS, that is safety of life at sea, requires that access to VHF communication equipment must be available at the position the ship is normally dedicated and controlled from. This includes the operation of channel 13, which is reserved for membership communication related to the safety of navigation. Equipment available for fulfilling the aims of the GMC system DHF, DHF DSC, MFHFRD, MFHFDSC, MFHFLX. 
in my set map x each is equal to star equal to the copy copy and I should select this of course the end list of radio equipment operations which every GMS operator must know operations over the radio system which includes setting alerts discuss RDC how to set the system for good watch, how to put the system for scanning a list of channels, putting the antenna for grounding, and then how to unground it then, how to reduce increase the power of transmission at antenna, operations over the MFHA systems, which include sending alerts to all stations, to the individual ship, to post radio station, routine calls to the individual ship, to a post the station and distance to lay. Operations over the immersive system, which include selecting the appropriate portion region over the SAT network, sending out undesignated distress alert, that is without any message, sending out the distress alert message, that is with a message, sending out distress relay, sending out urgency message with a special access code. Tech officers should have the following knowledge or abilities. The detailed knowledge of the operation of all GMC subsystems and equipment. The ability to send and receive message directly via radio telephone and NBDP. A detailed knowledge of the regulations applying to radio communications. A knowledge of the documents related to the charges for radio communications. A knowledge of those provisions of SOLAS which relate to radio. Sufficient knowledge of one of the working languages of the ITU International Telecommunication Union, which is French, English, or Spanish. Candidates must be able to express themselves satisfactorily in that language, both orally and in writing. As far as the availability of the equipment is concerned, there are three options. Number one, at sea maintenance. Number two, show based maintenance. And number three, duplication of equipment. Ships operating in areas A1 and A2 must nominate one option. Ships operating in area A3 and A4 must nominate two options. Details of the options applicable are contained in the radio search safety survey. Each GMC ship station is allocated its own unique 9-digit MMSI number which is included automatically in each GS call made by the station. Included in the MMSI number are the maritime identification digits, which identify the country licensing and controlling the station. Three types of MMSI are in common use to identify individual ships, group of ships and host stations. The following are examples using the MID 419, which is India. Number one, ship stations. For example, 419 Number two, group of stations. For example, 0419 And four stations. For example, 00419 002.